Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making a classic Cuban dish called Ropa Vieja. Now, Ropa Vieja means old clothes. And the reason why it's called Ropa Vieja, you'll see in a few minutes. I'm using flank steak that I had marinating overnight. Now, you don't have to marinate it overnight. You can marinate it in an hour. But I have it marinating in um, homemade mojo. Now, um, mojo is basically um, a combination of citric um, juices and garlic. And if you would like to know how to make mojo, I have a video on that. I'm using a half a cup of red wine for this recipe. Um, I'm also using some spices that you see here. Um, I'm using some olives. I'm using um, a can of tomato sauce. And um, I'm using onion and garlic and um, some peppers and sofrito also. In addition to that, I'm using one pack of beef broth. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so to this pot, um, now what I'm gonna do tonight is I'm going to um, pressure cook this. I'm gonna add some more sasson. And I'm doing it directly in a pot because I uh, just want to keep everything in here, all the flavors in here. I'm going to put some cumin, some oregano, I'm going to use some salt, and some black pepper and mix everything together. Now, beef broth is not uh, traditional to the recipe, but I'm adding a half a pack of beef broth. You can leave this out if you want to, because some people find beef broth a little salty. Okay, so I'm also gonna add one half of an onion, and I'm adding one half of a green pepper. I'm cooking this at 25 minutes in a pressure cooker, uh, but if you're using a stovetop pot, you have to cook it for two hours or more, depending on the size of the meat. Okay, so I'm gonna check my steak, and it's nice and tender, so I'm gonna take it out now. And this is why it's called ropa vieja, shredded clothes or old clothes, because old clothes are shredded. And this is what we did with the meat. Okay, so let's move on. So we're gonna start heating up some oil so we can start frying the peppers. So this is basically everything we're gonna need here in a bottle of wine. So that's our beef and that's our seasoning. So I'm gonna get started. So I'm gonna start frying up the peppers. So now I'm gonna add um, some green peppers, red peppers, onion, and garlic, and two tablespoons of sofrito to the pot. I'm gonna let that um, saute for about three minutes. Now I'm gonna add the meat to the pot and I'm gonna add the rest of the ingredients so that I can start um, stewing down the beef. So now I'm gonna add um, the sauce, the tomato sauce. I'm using half of a cup of red wine. Well, I'm eyeballing it though. But um, anyway, um, half of a cup of red wine. And the reason why I'm using um, drinking wine as opposed to cooking wine is because cooking wine is very salty. And I've already added salt and I've also added beef broth which has salt in it. So that's the reason why I'm using drinking wine tonight. Now I'm adding half a cup of the broth that I cooked the steak in before and um, I'm adding that instead of water because that's where all your flavor is. So now we're basically done. I'm gonna cook this for about 20-25 minutes um, until some of the liquid absorbs and then I'm gonna serve it. Let's test this and see what it tastes like. Really good. Okay, everything is the way it's supposed to be. Okay, so I'm gonna let this cook down and I'll be back. 
Whenever I'm adding tomato sauce to a dish, I usually like to add a teaspoon of sugar to take away the bitterness. Well, this is basically ready, so I'm gonna serve it. Well guys, this is my delicious dinner. I finally finished in the kitchen. And um, I just wanted to show you um, what I paired my Europa Vieja with. I made some black beans and some plantains and I paired it with um, a couple of pieces of avocado. And I also made some grilled chicken, couscous and string beans with onions. Thank you again for watching my channel. Please stay tuned for more upcoming videos. Have a good night. God bless.